With your Sports on Demand for Sunday, December 30th, I'm Alex Klein. We'll start with hockey in Detroit, and it's not the Red Wings. We're going to go to Little Caesars Arena for the 54th annual Great Lakes Invitational, the first game between Michigan Tech and Michigan. Less than two minutes into the first period, Peritino behind the goal for Alec Bretzman in front, and he goes top shelf for his fifth of the season, and the Huskies are out to the early 1-0 lead. Second period now tied at one. Brian Hallinan brings it all the way around, and he risks it home. No one really challenging him there, and he takes advantage Michigan Tech with the 2-1 lead. Later in the period, the Huskies, they can't clear the puck. The Wolverines get it to Nick Blankenberg at the point, and Adam Winborg, he tips it in, and we are all tied up at two apiece. And it stays that way after regulation and overtime, so we go to a shootout. Tommy Peritino can end it with a goal, and the freshman, he puts it right under the bar. Officially ends in a 2-2 tie, but Michigan Tech going to the GLI Finals for the fourth straight season. And the Huskies will face Lake Superior State in that championship game. The Lakers beat Michigan State in overtime 4-3. College basketball now, John Beeline and number two Michigan hosting Binghamton. Seven minutes left in the first half. Long pass to Poole who puts an alley-oop up for Isaiah Livers. Wow, what a play there. He'd have 17 points and the Wolverines up 25 to 18. Second half, and this is where Michigan pulls away. Pool to Charles Matthews underneath, and it's 48 to 43. Five minutes left in the game. Iggy Brazdakis nails the long ball, three of his 21, and Michigan wins 74 52 to remain undefeated. Go give it Community College men taking on Alpena, tied at 20. That's Mitchell Borseth with the jumper, and things kept rolling for the Samsons. Next, Borseth gets it to Ironwood's Nathan Dre for three. Got it, and it is 36-22. Off the offensive rebound, Samsons keep the pressure on. First shot, it misses, but West Iron County's Steven Nelson there for the putback. He had 18 points, and Go Gibbick is up by 17. And it doesn't stop. Mitchell Borseth, he buries the three. He had a game-high 27, and Gogibic gets its second win of the season, 83-71. to Gogibic women also in action, taking on the Lumber Jills. Fourth quarter tied at 46. Bailey Froberg misses the three, but Ayana Nickel there for the rebound. She gets the friendly bounce, and Gogibic up 48-46. A couple minutes later, it's Froberg again. And this time, she knocks down the three. She led all scorers with 21. And here is the icing on the cake for the Lady Sampsons. Ariana White, she sinks the jumper. Go Gibbick, now with 10 wins on the season, taking this one 65-58. to 58. The Bay College women in action against Milwaukee ATC. Norse got the long ball going early, and that was Norway's Jordan Kramer. She led all scorers with 19 points. Next up, it's Bark River Harris's Paige Welch. She knocks that down from long range. Bay College up 17 to five after one. Another Bronco, that's Megan Robinette for three. Got it. Bay College wins their seventh straight, 75 to 40. The Bay College men also in action against the Stormers. Off the miss, here's Milwaukee boy Alfonso Fields with the bucket. He had 14 points on the day. But this game was all Stormers. Norse, they turn it over and Milwaukee Tech goes the other way. Nikel Martin with a huge dunk and the flushes, they just kept coming. Deshaun Dillard bounces it to Clyde Singleton for the big finish. The Stormers route the Norris, 108-74.